Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Good morning, Evans. This is Sylvie and I am Lillianne with your Bulldog Good Brown. morning, Evans. These are your daily announcements for Friday, October 12, 2018. <laughs> today is Dump Cycle Day 6. On the lunch menu today, in the main lunch line is macaroni and cheese, Little Smokies, peas, pears, and milk. And in the Evans line, they're serving stuffed crust pizza, garden salad, Teddy Grahams, apple slices, and milk. In the cold line, you have a choice of the same as always, mixed greens with or without cheese, fruit bowl, or lunch meat sandwich. Thank you, Mr. Kanslar, for reading our lunch menu. Here are some facts about donating blood. Did you know that someone needs blood every two seconds and only 37% of the U.S. population is eligible to donate blood? Less than 10% do annually and about one in seven people entering the hospital need blood. And one pint of blood can save up to three people's lives. Any seventh and sixth, eighth graders who is interested in wrestling, please see Mr. Yeager to sign up. Coding Club will start meeting on Monday, October 22nd after school from 315 to 415 in Computer Lab 113. All grades are welcome to join. Students can come to the library or main office to get a parent permission form. Students will need to have a signed form to join Coding Club and will have to find their own transportation home. The Scholastic Book Fair will be in the library Monday, November 5th through Thursday, November 8th. The book fair will be open Monday and Tuesday from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock and Wednesday from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock and also during parent-teacher conferences on Thursday. There will be no library checkout during the book fair. How would you like to win a $25 Walmart or iTunes gift card? It's pretty simple, really. All you have to do is have a parent, aunt, uncle, or a grandparent come to come and donate at blood at Evans Multimedia Club Blood Drive on October 18, 2018, here at Evans Middle School. We are ho hosting this blood drive for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. They can come at any, any time after 3.30 p.m. And if they come in and donate, their name will go into a drawing for a prize themselves. It really is a win-win for everyone. So make sure you invite everyone you know to come give blood. National Egg Day, arguably one of the oldest foods known to man. Eggs have played an important role in our lives and health since the time of mind. They are they are packed full of protein and also have served and also serve as the base for some of the most wonderful culinary additions, including the most including that most perfect of condiments or sandwiches, mayonnaise. World Egg Day celebrates these delightful little packages of deliciousness and the incredibly important role that they play in our lives, day to, play in our day-to-day -day lives. A chess club is forming on, and Wednesday, October 17th marks the first gathering. Chess will be played from 3.15 to 4. Students are expected to play their best chess and work to improve the atmosphere. The atmosphere is calm, friendly, and relaxed. Students from all grades are invited to join. Chess Club will meet in room 216. Picture retakes will be held on Thursday, October 16th. Any student who did, who did not have their picture taken previously, regardless of whether they are purchase, purchasing photos, should go to the rubber gym after checking in with their advisory teacher. Hey there, sports fans. The Evans Bulldog football team played on Tuesday, taking on Mount Pleasant. The eighth graders won a close one to Mount Pleasant 16 to 14. The seventh, the seventh grade team tried to, tried to keep it close, but eventually fell to Mount Pleasant by a score of 28 to, 20, 28 to 8. Here is an interview with Mr. Stone about these, about this year's games. Team. What do you like about coaching the seventh grade football team? I think I enjoy most about coaching seventh grade football. Um, this is the kids' first year of um, Bulldog football. It's the first time they're really part of a uh, school that they affiliated football. season. Um, our record wasn't what we hoped it to be, um, but really the goal and the key for middle school football is that uh, you know we're getting better. Um, and I thought we did get better as the season progressed. So. 
What's your goals for the football players by the end of this season? In terms of going with our, our record or you know, how our season wins, you know, seventh grade you know, wins and losses aren't really the important thing. The important thing is that kids continue to um, work hard and learn about football and have fun with it. And just continue to get better so that they're ready to go in eighth grade and then get better in eighth grade. So when it gets to high school, that's when we're ready to go and start counting those losses. Better. Okay, thank you. The seventh and eighth grade volleyball team took on Fairfield last Thursday in Mount Pleasant on um, Monday. Here are the scores from these matches. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a the Evans Cross Country team will participate in the state competition this Saturday in, An in Ankeny. Good luck to all of, of our runners. Thank you coaches for these for this for thank you coaches for the scores and many pictures that you have sent through the throughout the year. We appreciate everything you have done for our student athletes here at Evans. Here are Evans Students of the Week for October 8th through the 12th. Congratulations on showing your Evans PBIS expectations. Do you like math? Mr. Brown is looking for a good few good math students to join Math Club. Math Club meets on Mondays after school. We will look at dissecting math problems and looking at using different strategies to solve them. Last year we sent 10 students to the Math B and two students placed in the top 10. So if you're interested, stop by and see Mr. Brown in room 104 for more information. Here's a short video about the upcoming Great Western Expedition for 7th grade. This trip will be on July 27th through J August 8th, 2019. So let's pack those buses full for a fun-filled weekend. Attention 7th graders, this announcement is for you. Don't miss out on a truly Great Western Expedition adventure. There are still seats available for next summer's two-week Western trip. Our first night camping will be at the base of Devil's Tower the remains of an ancient volcano that helped guide early explorers and settlers across the West. The next day, we will head across Wyoming to visit Yellowstone Country to explore our first national park. Yellowstone is home to many different kinds of animals like bear, bison, and elk. Yellowstone is famous for its beautiful mountains and waterfalls like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. There are over 10,000 different hot water features exploding from the earth like Spasm Geyser, Castle, and of course, the Old Faithful Geyser. You will enjoy spending the night at the Old Faithful Inn. It's the world's largest log cabin featuring a beautiful seven-story high log lobby. Next door to Yellowstone is Grand Teton National Park and its tremendous young mountains reaching far into the Wyoming sky. No western trip would be complete without some exciting activities like a Wild West Rodeo, a gunfight in the streets of Cody, and a Western-style all-you-can-eat barbecue and Western show. Enjoy horseback riding and most of all, a thrilling whitewater raft trip down the Shoshone River Canyon. Our trip will end in the Black Hills of South Dakota, where a family is carving a huge mountain into Crazy Horse Monument. Of course, no trip to the Black Hills would be complete without a visit to Mount Rushmore Monument. If you're interested in joining the over 4,000 Evans students that have already enjoyed the Great Western Expedition, see either Mr. Northup or Mr. Skinner for more information. And eighth graders, if you missed this trip last year and would like to join us this year, you are welcome to ride along. There are still three great fundraising opportunities left to help pay for your trip fees. <laughs> Attention all seventh and eighth grade students. The weekend trip for trip to Chicago has two full buses of kids signed up so far. We'd like to add a third bus to accommodate every student who wants to go. We need your help. We need 25 more kids to sign up with a $25 deposit. 
and a complete, I mean, and a completed enrollment form. Help us reach our goal. Trip fee is only $190, and it includes a lots of education, fun, and excitement. Forms are available in the attendance office. Have a great day at Evans. Teachers, please lead our students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Stay classy, Evans! Evans.